I did. I just dropped my face shield. Oh, oh. Just all of me is that we here showing. Okay, I'm gonna have to blur it out, but I'm at work working all around at the units that are on quarantine, even though we have no positive residents at the moment. But gosh, it is a hot, hot day, primarily because because the units are on quarantine, we have to wear gowns and masks and just everything. So it's like a chaotic mess and it's like hot as hell when you're in the little blue bag, this is what I call it, because it's just hot. But right now it's 2.20, almost time to go home. So I need to go outside and quickly do my books so that I can get ready to leave as soon as it hits three o'clock. I'm planning to go to um, Marshall's when I leave work to see if I can find any fall decor. I do not know. And I'm also not trying to spend any money, so I'm kind of all over the place where it concerns that, but I need to get something. So even if it's to go and to like window shop, I feel like I want to go. So I might do that when I leave work. But I cannot wait to leave. So I need to go spend the next 30 minutes doing the books I can leave here. What is that? This is literally how I feel right now, exactly how I look. Another day at work, literally just changed my mask because the other one smelled like, <laughs> at this point, maybe even butt cheeks, I don't know. It just smelled horrible. But um, we're, we're, we're closer to the end of the day right now. It's 12.30, my break is one o'clock and I literally cannot wait to go on my break to just sit down unbothered and just be on my phone because honestly that hour is like the time that you get to sit down and like unwind and you don't have to deal with any residents or hear any residents it's just your time and i'm literally waiting for that earlier i was just hiding in a little room taking a break because i was pretty much done with my assignment but i'm i'm tired i'm tired and today is sunday and i was considering staying over but i'm just like you yeah, know because i'm gonna have to be here tomorrow and tuesday and Wednesday so we're not doing that that has to be when like my day off is near and I literally have to get a good floor I'm about to go upstairs and have lunch with my friend so maybe later another day at work today I'm so exhausted and so tired because last night um I went to what was supposed to be a baby shower and like the baby shower was fun and everything and then we ended up walking next door to like a little club no, not really. Like a little barn lounge area. We were sitting outside. We got um, hookah and we got a few drinks. I didn't drink anything. Instead of the baby shower, I had like two Smirnoff pink lemonade. They were so, so good. But like when we went to the barn lounge, I didn't have anything because I knew that I had to come to work today and I did not want to feel any type of hungover. I wasn't even smoking the hookah. And then long after we were there, I'm like, you know what, whatever. I'll just take a pull or whatever. And one pull turned into me just being on there i'll insert some clips from last night so you guys can see on the screen as i'm talking but um i feel like i was saying this morning to someone that i feel like the hookah either has nicotine or alcohol inside of it because honestly the high that it gives you is almost the same high as smoking and i literally feel like a train wreck on top of the fact that yesterday i ate some goddamn food here and it gave me the runs so this morning at 2 a.m when i got in and I was supposed to be going to sleep so that I could come to work and be a functioning human being because I didn't drink at the function so I could avoid being dysfunctional. I still ended up being dysfunctional anyways because of the goddamn food that I ate. So I was so mad. I was on the toilet at 2 a.m. And anyways, I had some Imodium. It's a good thing I bought them the other day. And I took two at 2 a.m. And like ever since I've been fine. And when I came to work, I asked um, the charge on the floor for another one. And I've been fine since. But gosh, I hate the runs up now i have the worst headaches i had to ask for two tylenol just now too two tylenol 500 because for the longest time like since i've been here all morning it's 11 o'clock right now and i've been here since seven i've been trying to see if the headache would subside on its own along with the fact that i was having the runs and like <laughs> everything was just hurting okay a hot ass mess of a morning the headache just wouldn't go away so i'm like whatever I'll just, I'll just cave and like get the the Tylenol and this morning I ended up taking th two espresso shots and some coffee. I didn't oh I haven't eaten anything all morning. Maybe that's why I feel like shit. I literally just realized that because going to sleep after 2 a.m. knowing that I had to wake up at 5 I'm like you know what I'm gonna set my alarm for 5 30 so when I woke up at 5 30 I didn't have enough time to make full-on breakfast like I typically do but I have like half of a bagel and cream cheese that I'm gonna warm up and eat because my lunch is shortly approaching. 
but oh my gosh it's a crap show an entire crap show i will tell you of a day that i'm having so i'm struggling with this headache so hopefully after i eat something i'm gonna feel a little bit better because if i don't i'm gonna just be a sloth for the rest of the day terrible 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 anyways um i'm about to go upstairs to go have lunch with my friend and hopefully i feel a little bit better after that because i feel like i'm literally dragging myself throughout this day but i wanted to check in because i've been vlogging this entire week pretty much another day literally on a covid unit fully suited and booted and i just need to put my gloves on another day on a covid unit where bathroom breaks are very important because they just are that's the only time you get to think and breathe and then you have that without your mask on today was the morning was kind of chaotic because we had the state visiting to pretty much see that we're on our p's and q's because we had residents who tested positive who are no longer here i think i mentioned that a couple of days ago but that made the morning so chaotic but i feel like i'm so dehydrated so i'm about to pop out drink some water do my last resident and then i'm pretty much chilling for the rest of the day right now to 107. I finally left work and now i have this appointment that i have to like run to really quickly so i left and decided to take an uber instead of like taking the bus because it would take me so much longer to get there so i'm going there and then i'm going home so tired i'm going home to breathe my hair and um oh i have a phone call at 4 30 jesus christ Well, I think the new feature in the camera is to like read the text. I don't even know. But I need to take this to work with me. Tomorrow, I have three packages and I think I only know what one is. This is a belt. A girl, not a belt. Very anticlimactic. Almost twice. Tried and true. I guess it's okay. This is a clipboard, a whiteboard. I think it comes with the markers, it said it did. Or maybe I didn't read the description. But I have an exam coming up and I'm trying to do my exam remotely. They are not trying to play with the cheaters. This is so small. So they need you to have one of this. And then I have a box. I think the box is from Coach. Because I bought this Coach purse. So they am all at this point, I'm upset. I feel like they took forever to ship it to me, so I need to see if it's actually the coach purse at this point. And if it's not, I'm gonna be upset all over again. It's very much something. It is, but it's also very small. This is a little anticlimactic. I did not expect it to be so small. And I use this feature that they had on the website where you like view the item in somebody's hand or whatever. I guess it's cute, it's just tiny. Oh, this part here, it has like a red interior i think i spoke about it before this part here i wasn't sure about if they had like the part for your cash to go because the purse that i currently have is like you know i want something a little bit smaller so i carry less stuff so this is cute i guess so what this little thing is exactly but like we'll keep it for now so um it's it's very much small it's smaller than this that i bought and i bought this to go in there so i'm very probably meant to say the least i don't know why i thought this would have been able to fit in there because I don't think all my cards are going to be able to hold, but this is so dang small. Hi, y'all. Another day at work. I look a little bit more studious today because my hair looks nice and whatever. But um, <laughs> it was a chaotic morning. We had an elopement surrounding work the other day. So now they have these little elopement drills where like the first assignment from every floor has to run up there and be a part of the drill in helping to find the missing resident. And today, of course... I happen to be the one with assignment one who had to respond and not gonna lie it gave me a lot of anxiety running up there but i was very glad that by the time i got there they found the resident so i didn't have to have like anxiety all day still a little anxious but whatever we're past that it's about to be my luncheon but i wanted to come on and show this little coach purse i ended up deciding yesterday to like put my stuff in there and see how i like it it's very small very unlike what i'm used to but i actually like how tiny it is and it it forces me to get rid of a lot of the shit that i had in the other one i just carry this small one around i'm gonna buy a little keychain for it because just it just feels like it needs something 
so I'm gonna buy a keychain and hopefully that's good. I'm about to go up to eat lunch with my friend and yeah, that's all.